Here it is, our SportsNOAA.com trivia question of the evening. Jari Evans, first team All-Pro four times with the Saints. What two Saints with a first in franchise history to be named first team All-Pro? And it happened in the same year. Do you know it? Did you guess it? Oh, we're going way back. Wow. Danny Abramowitz and Tom Dempsey in 1969. The way back machine. Two Saints Hall of Famers. They were the first two Saints Hall of Fame induction classes. Danny with Archie Manning in 1988 and Tom Dempsey with Tommy Myers the following year in 1989. So some really good names and some good people. And by the way, Tom Dempsey, our prayers continue yeah. to be with the Dempsey family and Carlene. What a wonderful guy. I can remember sitting at car dealerships with Tom doing this show uh, a few years ago when we first started before uh, he ran into his issues and we love Tom and uh, kudos to him and prayers for his family as well. It's time now for our hot seat segment where we place Brian Alley Walsh on the hot seat with a hot topic of the day and this is a hot one. All-Star Games. Which league has the best all-star event overall? Hockey, basketball, football, baseball. Which one is it? Brian Alley Walsh. The floor is yours. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, kudos to Lenny Van Gilder for that. That was a good trivia question, by the way. All right, so let's deal with this. Which is the best all-star event? All right, when, when this subject was broached earlier today to us, I'm going, you know what? I am so sick of these all-star events. Uh, the, the NBA, I, I, I fleeted through that last night, and if it wasn't a three-point shot from the half court, it was a, a ball off the glass to a trailing uh, a teammate for a dunk. It was a dunk or a three-point shot. Okay. My favorite event, and maybe I'm showing that, that I'm a baseball fan, my favorite event is definitely the all-star baseball game. I love the home run hitting contest, and I love the game itself. The game itself, for this reason, is that it does decide who's going to be the home team in that World Series later on that year. So it, there is some relevance to that game, but I love the home run hitting contest. Now, the NBA, if, if you're talking about an event, that is a heck of an event. And the NFL is not even in my debate here. And I don't know enough about the Hockey League All-Star Game to really comment on that, but I will say the NBA All-Star Game, I like the idea that, that uh, Kobe Bryant, for his retirement gift, got 30 pairs of Air Jordans over the years. I think that is outstanding. Could you imagine putting a dollar sign on what those shoes would be worth if you sold it on eBay? All right, I only say that because it's, it's amazing to me. Baseball event to me is a clear, clear number one. Well, you know, uh, I will go with basketball for one reason. You know, basketball put all the celebrities involved, they have a game, then all the young superstars have a game, then they have the three-point, they have the challenge, then they have the big boys to come in and play the all-star game. And then they have all the parties, you know, uh, all the way up to that. So, you know, as an event, you know, I would have to go with the basketball because they bring uh, all the, you know, people involved. Football just have a game and that's it and baseball just they had a home run derby and they had a game but basketball they bring all the celebrities in let them play a game you know they have everybody there so i would have to say that's more of an event because it's non-contact sports too so right i put I, I would give it to basketball because it's more of a show right I, and I'll, I'll i'll agree with you this on the saturday night when they do the three-point contest and, and the dunk contest those are if you like really uh, show stuff that, that's great, but all the game is on Sunday night, and this is why I'm gonna move it down to number two, is all of this is just a collection of three-point shots and dunks again, and we've already seen that on Saturday. And then you had the young boys playing. I yeah, mean, like you got the like, sophomores. I've seen right. like uh, Alfred Payton's son, you know, from right there in New Orleans, they got a yeah. chance to play the sophomore the freshman yeah. game. Then they played the world this time, so yeah. I mean, it was like the NBA young great players playing against the world team, and you know, it just showed, uh, they just put a show on. Give me baseball. That's what I want. Give me baseball. Are you done? I'm done. How about all right. you? You done? Yeah, it's not football. All right, there we go. I think we all agree on that. We can dismiss football outright. It yeah. stinks. It's a joke. Yeah. It's become a, a, a caricature of itself. It's useless. Hockey, the game itself, uh, again, nobody checks anybody. It's free skating. The only thing that has integrity is the fact that the goalkeepers play for real, and they try to stop the puck. Uh, and then, of course, there's no real event attached to that except for the skills challenge which is if you like hockey you can appreciate that with regard to basketball the futures game that ricky mentioned 
The celebrity game is good. You know, the dunk contest was better this year. It's been a waste recently. Uh, the three-point shooting contest is fun to watch. With regard to baseball, you got the home run derby, which I think is great. You also have a celebrity softball game in yeah. baseball, by the way, which yeah. is pretty good, too, to go along with the game itself. I'd say as an event overall, the NBA probably is the best overall event, but by far, baseball has the best all-star game. It's not even close. Why? Because they're playing the game the way the game's supposed to be played. Pitchers are throwing 95 to 100 mile an hour fastballs. Guys are trying to steal bases. Defenders are trying to make all the plays. You truly have the best of the best, and the game means something. The winner gets home field advantage for the playoffs for their league. So baseball, unquestionably, without a doubt, is the best game by far. And their experience is very good because the home run derby in particular is good television. It's fun to watch, and they revised the format this year, which made it better. The NBA overall package is more glamorous because it has many events with many celebrities, the buzzers and bells. You can do a lot because it's indoors. You can do the lighting and have some fun with it, and even the halftime concert with Sting. You know, getting a little touch of class from the past was fun too, so that's a great experience. As for the NBA game, it's a joke. I mean, it's useless. It's, the NBA game, in my opinion, is the worst Worst part of the entire event. I think all the other parts of the event are better than the game itself. So as a result, to me, I have to go to baseball overall as the best event because they have a real game, which the others do not have. Although I do appreciate the NBA overall event. It's the best production by and large, but I'll go with baseball. Strike one, strike two, no strike three because baseball's not out. It's in, in my book. When we return in just a moment, college sports on Sports NOLA TV.